More of the best NFL memes on planet Earth. Starting with the whole squad going to see Barbie after watching Oppenheimer. It's, it's hey, fantastic. hey, hey, I can't play that. I can't play the song. Man. It's going to copyright me. How many of you actually watched both, though? How many of you actually saw Barbie and Oppenheimer? How many of you saw neither? Listen, fuckhead. You have fucking crossed the line. Oppenheimer marketing in 1945. Yo, Oppenheimer had a pretty unfair marketing advantage in 1945. You catch my drift. Was that necessary? Oppenheimer, when the body is to kill a lot of people, kills a lot of people. <laughs> Bro was shocked for what? Barbie, my first product launch in Japan. Oppenheimer. It's so whack. Me to the little girl who just bought the last Barbie ticket. He throws him, yeah. rips him back down, and he's throwing. I remember that fight. That was a great fight. Throwing haymakers. Jalen Ramsey's getting his team to win, man. Not fighting back. Let him get that flag. The Dolphins medical staff discussing Tua's chances of dying before sending him back out to play. Near zero. What do you want from Theory alone? Zero. Would be nice. <laughs> chances are near zero. It's a pretty good edit. Yup. Yup. America, baby, yeah! I hope the world can see now what's really going on out here. Because it's getting ridiculous. Signing my waiver at the theater to sit front row for Hop Oppenheimer and 40 Me going to the bathroom after watching Oppenheimer for three hours. Peaks it. I love when Lamar left that game to go to the bathroom. Barbie fans while Oppenheimer's playing in the theater next to them. Deliberous. <laughs> It is ridiculous. Report! Chargers running back Austin Eckler organized a Zoom meeting with 12 of the top NFL running backs on Saturday night to discuss their depressed market and brainstorm ideas for improving it. One of the ideas discussed on the call involved holding in by exaggerating or fabricating injuries. Looks like NFL running backs want to go on strike. Unfortunately, the rookie, who isn't getting paid yet, will happily step up and play ball, baby. <laughs> I actually get it. I get why top NFL running backs are upset, but this isn't a strike like you're a construction worker making $20 an hour and you want 22. It's like you're making millions and you just want millions more. So I don't know if I really... I don't know if I really agree with this. In fact, someone up here makes a really good point. And by the way, I just want to say I love Austin Eckler. I think he's a great stand-up guy. But this is true. Four years ago, Austin Eckler didn't get paid shit because he was a UDFA. And he replaced Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon, who is now fucking washed, for pennies when Gordon was holding out for a contract. That is kind of wild. That is kind of wild. The NFL running backs from the Zoom call saying, Say, go on, Mark, these contracts. <laughs> to say, bro. Derrick Henry and Nick Shep when J.K. Dobbins joined the elite running back to Yeah, yeah. What yeah. the fuck? Get that nigga out of here. All the running backs in the Zoom call. We're going to take a stand for the running back position. Saquon. Who's we? <laughs> there is no we. Justin Fields receiving the NFL running back Zoom video position. <laughs> Yo, Lamar beat the allegations. Lamar beat the running back allegations because these these memes used to be about Lamar. The four horsemen of why running backs don't get paid. Le'Veon Bell, Ezekiel Elliott, Todd Gurley, Melvin Gordon. Honest to God, if there is not a better example than right here. Le'Veon Bell held out just to get underpaid, then end his career with the Jets. Ezekiel Elliott got paid and only regressed. Todd Gurley went from being the greatest player on planet Earth to literally not on a team. And Melvin Gordon just won a ring with the Kansas City Chiefs, and he did not play a single snap. This is all coming from a guy who never played football at a high level. <clears throat> so obviously I know what I'm talking about. Every running back to Le'Veon Bell after his holdout backfired and showed NFL owners they shouldn't pay running backs. But no, you just had to blow it up. You and your pride and your ego. You just had to be the man. If you'd done your job, known your place, we'd all be fine right now. I wonder, do you think the Le'Veon Bell situation really had a significant impact on it? That's actually why James Conner's been getting paid in the league. James Conner was going to be Le'Veon Bell's backup. He might have never seen the touches he saw with the Steelers. And then all of a sudden, Le'Veon Bell holds out. James Conner starts going off, and it's like... 
Do we need to pay these guys? Low-key, I would be mad at Le'Veon Bell the most. And Le'Veon Bell is Michigan State stud, so. Had a fun running backs during training camp this year. Crab is unfair. Mr. Crab is in there, standing at the concession, plotting his oppression. What the heck does that mean? I don't know. Squidward <laughs> told me to yell at people. <laughs> then you must be SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes? Dude, you are like a fry cook legend. Will you sign my spatula? Uh, anything for an aspiring fry cook. So, did you come down to help out the cause? No, I came to take your job. <laughs> hey, thanks, dude. Back of wide receivers, they see a top five running back in the NFL. Get the money, y'all. There are poor people around. <laughs> With your broke ass. <laughs> it's actually wild because there are literally backup wide receivers making significantly more than top running backs. Austin Eckler, running backs should be paid more. We are easily replaceable. Running backs. Yikes. Yikes. I don't know, man. I, I just, it sucks to say it, but I think that there is some truth to the statement. Because so much of the running back position has nothing to do with the running back. Unless you're like Adrian Peterson. You know, unless you're truly a generational god. So much of it is on the scheme, the play calls, the offensive line. Whereas wide receivers are constantly given opportunities to make incredible individual plays. It's just hard for running backs to do the same thing. You could be an excellent running back, and if your own line's not giving you a push, you ain't going anywhere. Not unless you're Barry Sanders or Adrian Peterson or Derrick Henry. Eli Apple and Tyreek Hill at Dolphins training camp. Yeah, the, Do the Dolphins signed Eli Apple, I think because Jalen Ramsey's injured. I didn't even know Eli Apple was a free agent, to be honest. Yo, look at these stats here, though. In, in the last three matchups, Tyreek has one catch for seven yards and then in two games he had three catches for 39 yards eli apple is he does he own him stop the cap <laughs> stop the cap right now eli apple and tyree kill at dolphins training camp dude i would not be fighting andre johnson not the guy i would fight eli apple's introductory press conference with the dolphins that's such a good Photoshop. Who's doing that Photoshop? Tyreek Hill and Eli Apple's mom heckles him at camp. Oh, God. What? What kind of slam is this? Bro, I thought WWE was fake. What the fuck was that? Bro, this had to have killed her. Everybody went silent in that arena. That was absolutely absurd. Garrett Wilson looking at Aaron Rodgers when he has Eli Apple in coverage. Tyreek Hill's slap incident that occurred at a Miami arena. No way. Dude, people on Twitter were acting like Tyreek Hill assaulted somebody. He bonked this guy just barely. This guy's acting like, oh my God. They made it seem like that guy. <laughs> Is there more to this video that I haven't seen? <laughs> he barely touched that guy. Bro, I hate Twitter. I'm so done with Twitter, bro. Twitter used to be a fun place. Twitter is so full of shit. Oh, I'm so mad. When I saw the headlines that Tyreek Hill assaulted a man at a Miami Marina. Fuck out of here. Tyreek Hill at a Miami Marina. Uh, see, they're all goofing around and laughing. Tyreek Hill didn't even slap the guy nearly as hard as this. Jalen Ramsey's knee after Tyreek torched him. I hate this video. I hate that video. Dolphins fans offering their knee to Jalen Ramsey after replacing with Eli Apple. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that a real clip? Did some chick with a... Um, what reality TV show did a chick take her leg off and throw it at somebody? That's diabolical. Tyree Kill waiting for Eli Apple at his locker. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Did we do did we do this one yet? I don't know if we saw this one yet, but I want to go through it super quick. Jordan Addison was driving 140 miles per hour in a 55 zone. You'd think that NFL wide receivers would learn not to do that. Jordan Addison and Jalen Carter driving to the Vikings Eagles game week two. Yeesh. Jordan Addison when Madden only gave him 89 speed. Did they really only give him 89 speed? That's aggressively slow for Jordan Addison. 
Jordan Addison was hauling ass 140 miles per hour. How do you even get caught going 140 and 50? Joe gave me a, a nice whip. A nice whip. <laughs> a nice whip. Fast whip. Fast whip. <laughs> Usually not smart to talk about getting a super fast car on a podcast if you are going to go 140 miles per hour to 55. Not too fast, though, baby. Any, uh, any particular later. whip? Nah. Okay. One that goes 65 speed limit. You know, of course. <laughs> At least. You got to make sure. It's all good. I gotta go game. And that was kind of awkward. What was that so awkward for? Kirk Cousins picking up Jordan Addison when his license gets taken away. Is that a real picture of Kirk Cousins? <laughs> Kirk Cousins, such a goofball. I love this guy. His actual bio says risk taker. Yeah, you don't say. Holy shit. I mean, I'm joking. A lot of people speed, but you know, after what happened with, with Henry Ruggs, I just feel like maybe everyone should just drive the speed limit for a couple years. He shouldn't be driving much more than 10 over anyway, but dude, 140. Yeah, I kind of agree with this comment though. Like comparing what he did with what Henry Ruggs did, not a very good comparison, but technically, I know Henry Ruggs was drinking. Henry Ruggs was drunk driving. You're speeding and drunk driving are two different things. <laughs> this is a perfect comment. At least he didn't bet on the games, you guys. Because if he bet on the games, he'd be suspended. But going 140 to 55, fuck it. We ball. That's crazy. All right, y'all. That's it for this one. I appreciate you guys. Can't wait for the season. See you in the next one.